The last one uh, is the one for uh, acid compatible we call the TMA, TMAH. Uh, TMAH is uh, similar to ammonia, but uh, it's different, it's uh, a little bit organic things. And the H ray is, uh, is better okay, uh, than the ammonia, so that's why we're using t uh, TMA in, in the ice industry. Okay. Compared to uh, potential uh, 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 OH, KOH, uh, TMA, uh, actually the ratio of the H between among two different uh, surfaces is not as good as um, like a, a KOH. But the good thing is uh, KOH can release some kind of light metals. As we, we mentioned, light metal, heavy metal is not welcome to IC industry, right? They will contaminate the, the, the wafer. And after like a, a high temperature process, it will dump it into the second wafer to change the electronic property. So potassium oxide, uh, KOH is not welcome. <laughs> actually in IC industry, but in lab, it's okay. In the lab, if you just uh, fabricate your sensor actuator, it's okay. But if you can't combine it with IC, no. <laughs> Don't use KOH, you can use TMA. So in our lab course uh, this afternoon, uh, I think some of you will, uh, are taking this course, we will use TMA for aging, okay? So now we will come back to the current conversation topic. So the current conversation will consider two different uh, action. One is KOH, one is EDP, but keep in mind, the KOH uh, has a 100 as a second slowest uh, phase, in addition to 111. So 11 is the slowest one, and 100 is the second. But for EDP, it's opposite. 110 is the second. Okay, the H in 100 is faster. Okay, so remember this point. So now we come back to the corner conversation. Okay, so just uh, uh, as why we mentioned, you want to fabricate the mesa, the mountain structure. You, you, you want to uh, keep the corner be attacked as, a, as a later as possible. So that's why we extend the structure of the mask, okay, on the corner part, on the corner part. For example, if we design, uh, extend uh, the mask material uh, from one side to this, this end, in parallel to one, uh, uh, one side of the, uh, the, the structure, uh, you will end up finding out the, uh, the, the problem for KOH etching. So you can write down this for KOH etching. So for KOH etching, remember, the slowest surface is a 111 surface, no problem. But the second slowest one is 100 surface. Remember, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, boundary is uh, corresponding to 110 surface. The bottom one is also 110. So your 100 surface is a 45 degree to the one, one, uh, 110 surface, right? So exactly the, 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 the dash line. The dash line direction is exactly 100 direction. So when you do the uh, etching, it's also a corner here, but the corner is a little bit far away from the final corner we, we want to preserve. Uh, so uh, the, the etching will attack the corner, no problem, and uh, leave some uh, the, the uh, surface. The surface, because it cannot find the 111 surface right away, so it will, uh, grid, uh, it will stop at, uh, not stop, it will align to the, uh, the second slowest surface. That means it's a 100 surface. Remember, currently the 100 surface is a 45 degree to 110 surface, and also vertical to your substrate. It's a vertical surface. So for all those lines you, you look into, the surface that they found underneath is a vertical surface, okay? Vertical surface to the, to the substrate, okay? So you will look into this size like a mirror, okay? It's a vertical surface, okay? So when you do this uh, kind of action, uh, from the bottom is okay, you gradually uh, um, approach in the front until the end, right? So ap after you take out this material, you form very beautiful one one surface over here, no problem. The problem comes from the other side. The other side, you can see the 1110 surface, when they approach into the corner, actually this part has been taken away. Because of this part, you, you can see the 110 surface against this part. So this part of the corner cannot be preserved. Okay? So you leave the, the corner has been taken away. The structure is, uh, is not uh, complete. So it's not good for KOH etching. So for KOH etching, because this kind of property, before it reach the 111 final surface, it will gradually align to the 100 surface. 
the one all surface is a surface 45 degree to one one all surface and also vertical to your your, your, your button substrate okay so uh, in order to uh, make the corner preserve uh, at the end so another thinking is uh, how about let's uh, just uh, uh, switch this kind of extension to 45 degree the 45 degree that means uh, the, the the direction is along the one hour direction right is along one hour direction so when we have this kind of alignment one hour direction the good thing is uh, the edge chain found two sides because uh, this is a one hour direction from two sides will come symmetry become symmetrical edge chain from both sides okay so when the edge chain come from this side the one one surface will protect the, the, the structure here until the end and until these two surfaces come to each other uh, the final line here okay the final material after the final material have been taken down you will get a very beautiful corner structure over here but you need to remember uh, until the dense structure has been taken away you need to take out the, uh, the whole structure right away otherwise the corner will be further attacked down yeah so the corner structure will be damaged so you need to do very good time control okay until the structure form okay you can take out the uh, the, the the wafer directly so this is for carriage etching so for carriage design remember uh, the corner composition structure usually uh, along this uh, 100 direction is 45 degree to the 110 direction okay so it's good it's not this is not good it's good okay for EDP it's different okay remember EDP the second slowest uh, surface is a one one zero surface right one zero surface is exactly the surface uh, along this uh, boundary so for for the uh, EDP so you need to uh, de design uh, the corner compensation the extension along one one zero surface So become a square like this and do extension again okay so the most simple one uh, simplest one is by put the re rectangle things extension over here okay this is for EDP this, the second story is a 110 this is a 100 so 110 so remember that so now you can look into the final results so this is for EDP you can write down here it's for EDP this is for KOH these two are for KOH these two for uh, for EDP so for EDP you put the uh, some corner composition over here and in out uh, you will uh, form one one old plan the one the one one old plan uh, is a plan uh, 45 degree to the surface okay this top part here okay when you okay it, here is a 110 surface toward you, right? So if you design another 110 surface over here, there should be this one. Okay, so you have a top extension. Okay, in out, you have some kind of uh, etching down. So if you look into uh, the, the other direction, you'll find out that this surface, okay, you look at um, this part, this surface. This is another 110 surface. Okay, uh, you look at, actually, you look at these two, these two surfaces. These two are one one over surface as well, right? So you, when you have uh, some mask on the top, you etch it down, and uh, when they touch the one one over surface, these two surfaces <coughs> are forty five degree to the bottom, right? Forty five degree. So it's different from the <coughs> original. This surface is fifty five degree to to the to the bottom. Okay, these two one uh, one one over surface are forty five degree to the bottom. So these two surfaces exactly form the structure for EDP agent here. But for KOH agent, you have a one one uh, one oh surface. Okay, during the agent progress, <coughs> so the one oh surface is vertical <coughs> to the bottom sur substrate. So it's a, so you can look into the the vertical structure here. It's from KOH agent. <coughs> so until the end of the process. <coughs> All the material have been taken out. You can find out a very beautiful corner structure has been preserved on the corner of Mesa. This is for KOH etching. 
top is called EDPH. OK? So the corner conversation concept is different. For QH agent, we do have the corner conversation uh, structure extend along uh, 45 degree. And then for EDP, you, you may uh, draw like a rectangle structures on the outside. It will be better for the final results. So those things have been detailed in the uh, top description here. Okay. So this one, when you look into uh, this direction, okay, so we rotate the 45 degree into this direction. So we look into this direction, you, you see the ETB, over the ETB chain, you can find out this uh, uh, structure is a 2110 structure. 2110 structure, they have 45 degree to the bottom surface. Because uh, the, this 2110 surface, they form um, 90 degree to each other. Here, they form 90 degree to each other. So that means the, the button angle is uh, 45 degree. When you see the, um, this structure at the EDP agent. But for KOH agent, because you, you are looking into the 100 plane, the 100 plane is a vertical plane okay, to your substrate. So the boundaries, you look into the boundary here, is a vertical structure. So compared to EDP, it's inclined structure. For Kirch, you've got a vertical structure. Because plan difference is a 100 plan. This is a 110 uh, plan. OK, so here comes a good question. So people uh, try to ask, uh, if you want to make a 45 degree mirror by using silicon block map machine, how, how, would you, how would you do? Yeah, already here, okay? So you got a two solution. One, here you got a 45 degree here, right? So it's a directly give you a 45 degree mirror from one one old surface, okay? Okay, so for this kind of application, you can shine the laser light uh, toward the wafer and then get a 45 degree to the other end. And using the other mirror to reflect out, okay? That's one way. So you, if you apply the laser light direct, uh, particle, perpendicular to the surface, you can use in the ADP chain. But if you want to arrange the laser light in parallel with your wafer, oh, so this is not working. <laughs> so you consider this, this way. For this way, you have one vertical mirror here, the other vertical mirror here. Yeah, they are 90 degrees to each other, right? So when you shine 49 degrees here, and then you can reflect here and then come back here, all the laser pass is on the surface of your plan. Understand? This is out of the surface. This is on the surface. Okay? So you've got a two choice to design your 45 degree mirror by using this way. Yeah, so this may be um, you will see them in the maybe midterm. I, I used to use this question in the midterm, but not easy. <laughs> so, but but now, yeah, you can try to think of the the, the, the possibility. Okay. Okay, I think uh, it's an enough for today.